Hello everyone, my name is Aintu, I'm from Discover D4P. Um, today i like to tell you about a very first living thing. In my presentation, there are six contents. The first is introduction. The second is what came to earth first, humans or dinosaurs. The third is a clue of fossils. The fourth is stromatoli, a very first living, on, living thing on earth. The fifth is cyanobacteria, and the sixth is conclusion. Surely you all think dinosaurs were the first creatures appear on earth. In fact, they were only came closer to us and were not the first creatures appear on earth. Now let's find out step by step. Dinosaurs appeared on earth a long time ago about 243 million years ago. They even lived there before humans. Humans appeared on Earth about 300,000 years ago. So there aren't any photos, uh, videos, um, stories about from people because no one see the, them by them, see that, saw dinosaurs by themselves. All we know about dinosaurs is how the world existed when they leave uh, here come from a special clues that were left behind and last until people discover and try to understand what they were and what this clue meant. The second is a clue of fossils. I will give a great examples of a clue like fossils. Fossils have existed for a long time. They were made from leftover bones and other things uh, from animals. They can even form, form things like bones, shells, or even footprints. Taking clues like fossils and trying to figure out what life on Earth was like before human is so fun. Stromatolite, a very first living thing on Earth. Um, but there is a very, very first living thing on Earth. It even appeared before dinosaurs. It was a stromatolite. It looks like a rock because it is one. Um, but it is a special rock. It is made by cyanobacteria, the first known living things on Earth. Looking at a Looking at a stromatolite is similar to looking at a um, home full of, of tiny living things called uh, cyanobacteria. They are very small. A stromatolite can fit thousands of cyanobacteria in it. An interesting fact is there are more bacteria in a stromatolite than there are people than there are people in a larger city you can imagine. The oldest fossils found are stromatolite fossils, the first clues of early life on the earth. We found them in places that have sh shallow, salty water like near the ocean. The fourth is cyanobacteria. The cyanobacteria live in water and like uh, live in water to make their f food like plants do. They gather nutrients and uh, nutrients around them and energy fr from sunlight and they put those nutrients together in a process called photosynthetic as cyanobacteria seed in the water. Um, and make the food though the photosynthetic. They also make a bit rock called limestone. I think it's here. A limestone. A whole bunch of cyanobacteria um, in one place look like a mat. The bacteria may get struck together with other pieces of rock um, uh, that wash up onto, onto the mat as a cyanobacteria keeps growing towards the sunlight 
the old pieces of rock from a layer and then another layer and then another layer. It is like when they are making a lasagna uh, for their home. There are some impressive layers on the stromatolite fossil. We need to spend so much time to form those layers. Special to tools help the scientists tell the age of different stromatolite layers by f f figuring out the age of stromatolites. Yeah. Scientists can also tell that cyanobacterium was some of the first things on the earth. The sixth is conclusion. Stromatolite are super, super, super old. Can you believe it? We still have living stromatolites here on Earth today. You can see stromatolites in Shark Bay, Australia. Um, stromatolites can also like help us to image life long ago. We will see that life has changed so much since so I think we are so lucky to have stromatolites to learn f from even today. Thank you for your listening. Goodbye.